morning SeaWolves. My name is Alana and this is the event preview where we keep you up to date on all things happening around the world in All Things Scholars Academy. Here's what's happening from October 29th to November 4th. On Monday the 30th, grades 6, 7, 9th, 10th, and 11th will be having their picture day. Make sure to look and feel your best in your school uniform. Later on that day, the Parent Association Executive Board meeting will be held from 5 to 6 p.m. On Tuesday, Halloween will be taking place. It is a regular Tuesday dismissal day. With the exception of high school PSAL sports, students are expected to go directly home after dismissal and avoid staying in and around the vicinity of the school once they have been dismissed. Make sure to travel home safely. Students are not permitted to wear costumes while in school. This includes not bringing costumes into the building as well. Additionally, the use of costume makeup is not permitted. Students in violation of these expectations will be asked to change and their parents will be notified. All prohibited items will be confiscated and returned only to a parent. On Wednesday through Friday, the seniors will be taking their senior portraits. Make sure to look your best because these will be displayed in the yearbooks. Also, from Wednesday to Friday, the high school chair trials will be taking place. On Wednesday, the trials will take place in the theater from 7 to 7.30 a.m. On Thursday and Friday, it will be held in the gym from 6.45 to 7.45 a.m. On Friday, there will be a practice grade 10 English Regents, and we will be having a student government sponsored dress down day. Please make sure to donate a dollar as the funds go towards our school events. Make sure to stay safe and have fun this weekend. And now here's Patrick with the sports and after school news report. Thanks, Alana. What's going on, everyone? Once again, another great week in sports. Congratulations to our girls varsity volleyball team on an absolutely dominant season, and it's now playoffs time. And on that note, since the main fall sports season has come to a very strong close, let's recap this week on our team's seasons and see how they did. Girls tennis team on a very impressive 9-1 season. However, unfortunately, they were eliminated in the first round of the playoffs. However, congratulations for yet a successful season for these girls. Also, a special congratulations to our Fall 2023 Boys Bowling Team, as they have officially ended their season undefeated with the playoffs in sight almost certainly. So excellent job, boys. You really struck the pins flawlessly. Furthermore, a huge shout out to our girls varsity soccer team as they have also won their season 8-0 in an undefeated fashion, concluding from their senior night game last Tuesday, October 24th, kicking it straight into the playoff picture with a 6-0 victory. Hey girls, let me say this again. You've served to perfection this season and have finished undefeated at home, so job well done. Another notable mention is our co-ed cross-country team, which will be wrapping up their season on the 4th of November, with strong and solid running numbers throughout the entirety of the year. So amazing job this season, guys. Oh, and by the way, huge congratulations to our co-ed cross-country team once again on performing in the Queensboro 5K Championships at Van Cortlandt Park in the Bronx, with impressive numbers from our boys and girls respectively, despite relatively low placings, capping off a very impressive season. Quickly crossing over and posting up on the top of the key for a quick minute here, our varsity basketball team tryouts for both our girls and our boys have wrapped up last week. I'm sure all of you basketball fans have been waiting for this moment. Will our boys, with losing a bunch of their senior players from last year, continue to fight strong and lead scholars to one, if not their first three-peat on the basketball front? And will our girls make a very strong push this season, hopefully into the championship picture? We will find out once the season kicks off sometime in November. You can keep up to date with the latest information regarding all of this by going to the PSAL.org website and searching up our name, our school name, the Scholars Academy underneath the Schools tab, our extracurricular or after-school sports website on our landing page at scholarsnyc.com, or our future live streams on our YouTube, Vimeo, and Instagram pages, all at the Scholars NYC on each respective platform. Now. Do you know the phrase from the famous Disney movie, Just Keep Swimming? I bet your sand dollars I know, it's swimming season time. Sometime in the near future in November, our co-ed varsity swimming team will be starting up after a successful season last year, with our team missing just shy of the finals. 
If you would like to show interest in becoming a part of the co-ed varsity swimming team, stay tuned for further information on your high school grade one Google classroom and your DOE emails for the latest information on how to try out. Tryouts will be held sometime in November once again and will be held at Far Rockaway High School. Make sure to have all of your PSCL medical forms and documents on the ready. Wow. Now that was definitely an MBA game worth full of information there. But don't worry, middle school, we didn't forget about you. Middle school students, make sure to keep up to date on our landing page in our extracurricular after school sports calendar as well for the latest information on the time and dates for future sports games, especially for volleyball and soccer, as games should be starting up anytime soon. And now, here's Toomey with the world news and cultural events. Thanks, Patrick. Tuesday, October 31st marks a very popular holiday amongst both kids and even adults. Halloween. It has origins that date back to the ancient Celtic festival of Samhain. This day marks the end of summer and the harvest whilst also representing the beginning of winter. On the night of the celebration, it was believed that ghosts of the dead returned to earth. On Wednesday, November 1st, it is All Saints Day, which is a Christian holiday used to honor all the saints from the Christian's history or essentially a day set aside to honor all the saints who have lived in accordance with Christian teachings. The auspicious festival of Kyra Koth is right around the corner. Also known as Karak Chaturthi, falls on November 1st this year. During this festival, Mary Hindu women observe a different Najala Vrat, fasting without food or water, for their safe husband's safety and prosperity. They keep the fast from sunrise till moonrise. Also on November 1st is the beginning of Native American Heritage Month. This month is used to celebrate and honor the culture, traditions, achievements, and contributions of Native Americans. The challenges that they experience and still experience and the way that tribal citizens deal with these issues is also brought into light. All Souls Day is a day of prayer and remembrance for the faithful departed observed by certain Christian denominations on Thursday, November 2nd. In Mexico, this day is commonly known as the Day of the Dead, a holiday traditionally celebrated on November 1st and 2nd. The idea of the Day of the Dead is a magical and powerful, celebrating the dead for a new few days while their souls return to earth to share with the living. November 1st honors deceased children and November 2nd focuses on adults. And that's it for the event preview for this week. We are Alana, Tumi, and Patrick, and we will see you next time when we bring you more news from the Scholars Academy. Until next time.